Welcome to Touchdown from the Stars, the Space Shuttle Spectacular Return to Earth. In this video, we will unravel the incredible journey of the Space Shuttle as it makes its way back home from the vastness of space. As the Space Shuttle re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it faces extreme heat and pressure. To protect itself, it is covered with a special heat-resistant material called the Thermal Protection System. This shields the spaceship and keeps it from burning the up during re-entry. Once the space shuttle has safely passed through the intense heat, it begins its descent back to Earth. Two minutes. It glides through the atmosphere, using the lift generated by its wings to control 90. its speed and direction. As the space shuttle approaches the landing site, it engages its landing gear. The landing gear consists of tires specially designed to withstand the impact of landing. Now, the pilot skillfully guides the space shuttle towards the runway. The shuttle touches down gently, the tires meeting the runway, bringing an end to this incredible journey through space. After landing, the space shuttle slowly comes to a stop. It's been an extraordinary adventure, traveling thousands of miles above our planet's surface. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of touchdown from the stars, the space shuttle spectacular return to Earth. The, uh, Don't forget to subscribe to our camera, channel for more fascinating videos that, like uh, this. Rick and Kevin Stay curious, and we'll see you next time. With runway 22. One minute until touchdown. Discovery right on the center line. Moments from now, Rick Sterko will flare up Discovery's nose. Pilot Kevin Ford will deploy the landing gear. Pre-flare maneuver conducted. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kevin Ford now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to resupply and fortify the International Space Station. Tim Cobra home after 58 days in space. Parametric pressure and wind speed. Speed now 1,800 miles an hour. Approximately two and a half times the speed of sound. Altitude is 15 miles. 67 miles to the landing site. Endeavor now passing below Mach 2, 
twice the speed of sound. 1,100 miles an hour, altitude 13 miles, 70,000 feet, 47 miles to the landing site. Endeavour Houston, you're on energy approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. Nominal shoot deploy. Okay, no change to winds and weather. Nominal shoot. Hot mic, Endeavour. Endeavour now slowing uh, below the speed of sound. Two sonic booms signaling its arrival at the California, at the California coast. Speed just over 500 miles an hour, 25 miles to the landing site. Chris Ferguson has taken over the controls of the shuttle as he arrives at the heading alignment circle. Again, this is the 342 degree left hand turn to line him up for Edwards Runway 04, a temporary runway that is providing a southwest to northeast landing. Speed 530 miles an hour, altitude 6 miles. 21 miles to the landing site. Endeavour, on at the 180. On at the 180. Pilot Eric Bowe now getting a chance to get the feel for Endeavour as it uh, returns from Earth to Earth. Speed 470 miles an hour. Altitude 200,000, 20,000 feet. Endeavour, on at the 90. On at the 90. Commander Chris Ferguson back in control. Endeavour on course past the 90 degree portion of the heading alignment circle. Lining up with runway 04, Edwards Air Force Base. Speed 400 miles an hour. Altitude 1100 feet. Commander Chris Ferguson on glide slope.
speed 350 miles an hour. Altitude 2,000 feet. Landing gear down. Gear down and locked. Touchdown. Are there close flying drag chute that'll help slow Endeavor on the runway? Nose gear touchdown. Final reveal for Endeavour's home improvement to the International Space Station mission is now complete. 124th Space Shuttle mission, 27th Shuttle mission of the station, and the 22nd mission for Endeavour. We'll stop Endeavor. Welcome back. That was a great way to finish a fantastic flight, Fergie.